In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable TPM 2.0 on Windows 10 or 11 on PC or laptop. So I'm on my Windows 11 PC and I'll quickly walk you through what to do if you need to check or change your TPM settings. First, go down to the bottom left corner and search for PC Health Check and open PC Health Check tool. This tool is available on almost all Windows 11 or 10 systems. If it's not already installed, it'll install in just a minute or two. Once it's open, go to the top where it says Introducing Windows 11 and click Check Now. The tool will scan your system to see if it's compatible with Windows 11. As you can see on my screen, mine isn't ready yet. It says TPM 2.0 needs to be supported and enabled, so let's enable it. Close the window and open your computer's settings. Click Start, then the Settings icon. From there, click on System tab at left-hand side, then scroll down and find Recovery option. Then click on Recovery. Once you're on the Recovery page, look for Advanced Startup and click on Restart Now at right-hand side that section. Your PC will restart and take you to Advanced Recovery mode. Once you land on Advanced Recovery screen, click on Troubleshoot and then select Advanced Options. From here, choose UEFI Firmware Settings. This option lets you access and change settings in your PC's UEFI. Go ahead and click it. Your computer will reboot and take you straight into your motherboard's BIOS interface. Every motherboard manufacturer has a slightly different BIOS interface, but the overall process is basically the same. Once you're inside your BIOS settings, look for a section security. Inside that menu, find the TPM option. If TPM isn't turned on, simply enable it. On some motherboards, you might only see an enable disable toggle. If it's set to disable, switch it to enable. That's all you need to do to activate TPM. After enabling it, make sure to save your BIOS settings and then exit the BIOS. Your system will restart with TPM 2.0 enabled. Once the system boot up, go open the PC Health Check app again. Click Check Now. And as you can see, the TPM 2.0 error is gone, meaning TPM is now enabled. The latest Windows 11 system requirements require TPM 2.0 to install the OS, and even some newer games need TPM to be enabled as well. Also, when you go to the Windows Update settings, it may still say that your PC doesn't meet the requirements. This is normal. It can take a little while for the system to refresh the status. It should update within a few hours. I hope you found this video helpful. Please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.